Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. Welcome back to the P.R.O. Gameplay of Dimmy Delight. This is part 34 of this Let's Play. Oh, honeys, pat yourselves on the back. That video did manage to get 900 likes against all odds, so I did purchase the Mud Medusa outfit for the hag, and of course, we are gonna be playing some hag, and then we're gonna be playing some survivor. I do have my usual porks equipped. I've got a few add-ons, and honey, I've got nothing to offer except this amazing outfit, honey. Let's get in there. Look at her hair. It's so snaky and muddy. It's all right, we got some folks. We're gonna drive Fairfield and make Thomas Claudette Morrell and a good old Lori Strode. Oh, this should be a hoot and a holler. Madam Preschool, Springwood. Oh my God, look, honey, she is glowing. She's literally glowing. Her skin is glowing. Honey, you're glowing. You look amazing. You're... Oh my God, look at my hand. It's all glowing. Honey, I'm ready to draw. <laughs> Pro scared me. I'm ready to draw some triangles and I'm ready to get some shit done because that is what the heck does. She gets shit done. Honey, that's what we call uh, an equilateral triangle. All sides equal 60 degrees. No, all angles equal 60 degrees. Okay, but all the, all the sides are equal as well. A equals B equals C. Honey, this just turned into another one of my triangle facts video. Honey, y'all know my infamous triangle facts videos. Can I actually find anybody? Because I actually cannot have done find anybody, but is there nobody to find? Where are these slippery biscuits? Honey, I don't see a single slippery biscuit out here, and I've been drawing triangles for 17 years. Oh my god, what if they're trying to get my hex? That, that's not my hex, that's another totem. That's another, just, uh, just a random totem. And I, I, why am I down here? Because I don't think there's no generators, and this is a dead end, and I'm just down here, and I'm just wiggling around in the basement. I don't think the hag can give any hair care tips when she's in this costume either, because her hair is actually snakes. Honey, don't forget to feed your hair rats twice a day. Oh, honey, is it the Oh, Meg Thomas. Oh, oh, Meg Thomas. You haven't been feeding your hair rats twice a day, honey. Your hair is in, it's made out of snakes and you gotta feed it rats twice a day. Oh, no decisive strike, hunchy. No strike and decisive only for you. And that's what you get when your hair ain't made of snakes and you hate triangles. All right, let's go bust this generator down because I have a feeling she was pretty close to getting this. She wasn't very close to getting this thing started. I'm just doing this now for kicks, and I just did it. I did it for the triangles, honey. You do it for the triangles. Oh, 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 where, where, where? No, my hex! Was that my hex? Try to my hex! Break, break my hex statue! I am fu furious, furious. Teleport, teleport. Oh, honey, was it Dwight Fairfield that you had done seen? Because I hate Dwight Fairfield. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. I'm excusing myself for myself because myself was in myself's way. Where did that Dwight, oh, oh Dwight Fairfield? Couldn't even get her off the hook either. Just absolutely. But botch that. Drop up, honey. You just botched that job. We can make it to this hook. Okay, someone just did a generator, and that's absolutely fine with me. Oh, there's walls everywhere. There's wa oh shit, there's walls everywhere. There's wall he's gonna wiggle out of here if I don't be her careful right now. Put this Dwight Fairfield on a hook right now. One and done, honey. Count the honey, honey. I can count the number of Dwight Fairfields on this hook, and that's number is one. And that number is three size on a triangle. And someone just got her off of the hook, and they just triggered my trap. And there was no trap to be triggered because uh, the trap is that Claudette Morrell? Was there a Claudette Morrell in this? Or did they change last minute? <laughs> oh, honey, did that scare you? Do you get scared? And your peepers, your peepers are getting seeing other pictures of the hag, and you're getting scared. Oh, uh, no, clue at morale chase. Oh, honey, I'll just abandon that chase for a good old Lori Strode. If I could just hit everybody once, that would be a classic. Lori Strode, honey, where's your Michael Myers now, honey? Where are they? They're telling me getting all of my traps. Good God, I just need, I can't be everywhere at once. It looks like I can't, but honey. I can't be everywhere. All right, this Claudette Morel's going down. I'm absolutely done chasing her. Where, 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 where? I keep losing people when I knock them over, honey. You just gotta stay focused, Josephine. I thought that was a hook. That ain't a hook. Oh, what? What was that? What was that? The, 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 oh, one of my other traps, I think, just got triggered. Every, they are just running all over my trap. Tra my trap, my trap, my trap. I can't, I can't, I can't right now, Dwight. I can't, I gotta, I got I got a thing to do. All right, Claudette Morel, honey, Claudette Best girl. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to draw a trap. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I just meant to draw a few triangles here, because that's what I'm all about. I'm about drawing triangles, and that's what I'm about. Oh, shit. And now some other shit's happening, and Dwight Fairfield's over here again, and what?
What the actual fuck just happened there? Does anybody know what the actual fuck just happened right there? Why would you fucking you threw the pallet down on the wrong side, bro? You didn't even throw a pallet down on the right side, bro. Okay, there goes Meg Thomas. She's gonna get the other one off of the hook. And that's totally fine with old Josephine, because maybe I can warp up. Can I warp? Come on, let me warp. Come on, Dwight, get on this hook. I hate you. I hate you, Dwight. I hate you. And don't they gonna bag it all happened perfectly. Can I pick her up, please? Okay, Claudette Morel, I'm sorry you didn't get to travel very far, but you are now back on this hook. I don't think I even got to put any traps down. I didn't put any traps down on Dwight Fairfield, and now he's off the hook. And I see where they're going. They're running into the distance, and I know what the distance is. The distance was over, 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 over. The flapjack and butterballs, they got away. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for those pesky little kids. I'm really upset that nobody's dead yet because I've had a lot of people on the hook. I know for a fact they went this way, and all that's separating me from everybody is walls, honey. There are walls everywhere in this place. There's nothing but walls, nothing but walls and holes in the floor. My finding skills are not so good today, honey. Or the or these survivors, they're darn good at hiding, honey. They're hiding in all the right places. Triangles. That's the answer. The an uh, the answer to all of life's questions. Triangle. Tri tri Triangles. I know for a fact they're gonna go do this one. I know for a fact they've all gone into this uh, this uh, with shack over here, and I know it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I knew it. I heard it from. A oh, honey, is that a why she start running real fast? She don't want to run that big time. She's she like she don't track, honey. She want to be running real fast. Where the hell does she go? Wait, she what the what the? Oh, oh, oh! She actually just went in this locker. If it ain't Lori's, what is this extreme close-up Lori Strode edition? That was the extreme close-up of Lori Strode. We did not know we needed. I don't think she has decisive strike because I think she would have decisively struck me. Lori Strode on a hook, not making the same mistake again. Drying, drying all. They still think they're gonna get this one done, honey. And I, they, oh my God, is someone else in here? Is someone else in? <laughs> there. This is just like a freebie locker, honey. It's like a vending machine for survivors. Honey, you open it up, another one pops out, honey. All right, I know that they got Lori straight off the hook, and that's literally fine with me, because this is, is this Meg Thomas's second time on this hook? I am, uh, listen, if anything, I am, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, one down, hunties, one down, and you know that they they just keep going back for this one. They just keep going back. We're gonna kick it, we're gonna kick it, and this time, we're gonna trap it. We're gonna put some traps, one here, one here. What was it? What was it? I thought I heard something. I'm gonna put one right here. All the doors and windows, honey, all the doors and windows. This is the alarm system. This is like an alert alarm system. Oh, the vending machine's out of survivors, honey. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. They did one in this basement. They, they did that They did that one underground. They did that one underground. I bet they've gone upstairs. I hear them upstairs right there, and I hear that generator click clacking away, and old Josephine's gonna sidle on up here to the roof, and oh, there goes someone out the window. I'm gonna Oh, was it old Dwight Fairfield? I don't know why, but I just absolutely <laughs> did that spook you, hunty. I just absolutely hate Dwight Fairfield. I just look like ah! that. That's reason number four. Reasons number one through three were just I hate him, and then reasons number four were the, the all of these other reasons. You're just slowing me down, honey. You're just temporarily slowing me down. I'm still coming to snatch you, and you're coming to snatch you. I'm coming to snatch you, and oh, oh, oh! How is that possible? How is that humanly possible that Josephine would fail anything in his life? Entire life just just be, okay. He is running so fast. Why am I so slow? Oh, snap, crackle, pop, and crackle, and pop, and crack. No, 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 Where the hell is he? I heard him put down that pallet. Where the fuck is he? He has been running all over this place. Like, my goodness, Dwight Fairfield, slow down for two seconds, honey, honey. I just want to talk to you. Just want a little chit chat with old Dwight Fairfield. Why does it, why is the chase music happening? Someone got done snucked in here. Someone done got snucked in here. Why would you dare sneak around? my traps that's him it's him it's 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 an impossibility it's an why am i feeling like i'm running so slowly lately i feel like i'm just running so slowly okay i'm keeping my eyes on selena here i'm keeping my eyes on the prize I, okay this should be claudette morel's last uh, last 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 and they did they started that one in the shack they started that one there's Dwight fairfield and laurie stroke the hell are they doing they think they're gonna get away from this they're the wesley weapons they're gonna get away from them that should be the end of her okay that is for sure the end of her and there's laurie stroke there is good you think i did didn't see you, honey? Did she really don't think I didn't see her? She just went in a fucking locker. She just went in a fuck.
This is like a survivor vending machine. Survi vending machine for survivors. I'd be really mad if everybody dies except for Dwight Fairfield. I was rooting for everybody except Dwight Fairfield. I just really do. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. The last Oh, 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 oh what the? And this is it, dude. I'm activating traps and then you just get the back here. Listen, the hook was really far away because everyone's died over there and I really needed someone to die. <laughs> I have never been disrespected like this in my entire life. She just literally went into a locker. Can y'all just, she literally went into this locker and she's slamming the lockers as loud as humanly possible, honey. She slammed that locker as loud as humanly possible. All right, I don't feel bad about this Lori Strode dying anymore, honey. I was rooting for you for 2.7 biscuits and oh, look, there's the hatch, there's the hatch, there's the hatch. Oh, Dwight Fairfield, do you want to come pop out of my hatch? Because there's a lot of biscuits around this hatch, Dwight Fairfield. Can I leave? I want to leave the game. <laughs> I would like to leave this game, please. Where is he? I know he's going to try this. There is only... Oh, hunchy. Oh, hunchy. He done trying it. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to pick... I picked... Oh, 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 I did it. I actually did it. I picked up his britches right from the hatch. We just have to slowly make it to this hook. Oh, hatch game, honey. That's my game. Nobody does hatch game like Josephine Birdsong, honey. Look at him die. Look at him draw Fairfield done, and I'm beautiful. I have a glow to me. It's like I just murdered someone. I'm glowing. Look at me. I'm still getting blood points because I'm setting all these traps. 25 blood points. 25 blood points. 25 blood points. Blood points. And draw Fairfield's dead. And honey, that was a good game. Mun Medusa and, and uh, impossible to beat. Mun Medusa and Mun Medusa impossible to beat. I completed a daily ritual? I don't know how we're gonna beat that game. That was an exceptional game and I'm proud of the way that game was played and I'm proud that I didn't do anything bad. Alright, let's switch it on over to Survivor. Let's switch it on over. So since the whole fiasco of prestige and Claudette Morel and losing everything I've managed to get her back to level 22 so far. You've got some urban evasion, got some empathy, got some self-care, honey. I would like to go to Memorial Institute. I would like to try to, we're gonna, we're gonna offer this shattered glass. Give me a challenge. Give me a challenge. Give Claudette Morel a challenge. Give me some blood points. I will level up. And we've got a Meg Thomas, a Nia Carlson, a Dwight Fairfield, and a good old Claudette Morel. Facing the spirit. This is the first time I'll have gone up against the spirit in, in, since she hasn't been in beta. Treatment Theater Memorial Institute. The glasses worked, honey. The glasses worked and we're here in the Memorial Institute. Wait a second. I hate this level. Why did I get us warped here? I have no idea why I wanted to do this again. I have absolutely no idea. A couple of you mentioned in the last... Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, honey on heaven on high. Oh, here she come. Here she come. Here she come. We're juking. We're juking. We're juking. We're juking. We're juking. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, oh my fucking god. Oh, oh my god. That is so scary. She is so scary to play against. She came out of nowhere and she left her body and her body was left behind. A few of you guys said in my last episode, what I was trying to say earlier is that she kind of looks like the character I made, Laura Vanderboo from my Monster High series. And she kind of died. Are they going to come save me? Oh, honey, she's right there. She's right there. It's like, oh, she escaped her body. I don't know if I ever even played against her in the beta. This is like kind of terrifying. She just comes out of nowhere. She just got them. Can you come out of that fucking walker and help me? Dwight Fairfield? Oh, fuck you, Dwight Fairfield. You are just the worst literally kind of person. Oh, is he really? Is he, does he, is he playing, what is he playing with a controller? Is he playing with a fucking controller or something? We're all gonna die here. Great, great. And now I get to go. Oh, great, 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 great. Biscuits and gravy. Great biscuits and gravy. She's about to peer out of nowhere. I'm juking. I'm juking. I'm juking. Just fucking end this game already. Just end this game. I'm sorry. Put me right back on the same hook. No point in wiggling. Finally, someone got rescued, leaving her body behind. Goodbye. It is nice. I get a moment to... Oh, shit. Snacks and butterballs. I was gonna say it's nice because I get to look at her amazing hair, but you know what? You can't really focus on that when the entity is trying to snatch you. Yo, Dwight Fairfield, can you pick up your keyboard and start coming to help me, please? We're all dying over here, Dwight Fairfield. I just always blame Dwight Fairfield and the Carlson, honey. What? Oh, great. Great. They're just healing each other over there. Not a care in the world, honey. Not a diddly dong, do dong, do dong day care in the world. Well, this is the shortest game ever. This is a very welcome intro to playing against the spirit. Isn't there she goes, honey? Oh, she's off to our next hair commercial, honey. She's just got to Oh, honey, she is busy. She is busy. She's shooting hair commercials left and right. Honey, Garnier, and Nutrice, L'Oreal. Uh, maybe you're worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's, uh, not. And I'm dead. Because, drop your feel. <laughs>
Fairfield. Uh, I'm just gonna always blame Dwight Fairfield. Can we just spectate until Dwight Fairfield dies? Oh, Nia Carlson, for one time, it wasn't your fault. I blame Dwight Fairfield. Well, and Nia Carlson's dead too, just like that. Where is Dwight? Well, Meg Thomas is hiding right beside the, right, right beside her. Oh, Meg Thomas is dying. Great. Meg Thomas is about to be dead in five seconds. This person knows how to play the spirit, honey. They know how to play the spirit. Where is this Dwight Fa Oh, he's been in a locker. No, yeah, yeah. Maybe want to get started on Generator Finally. I didn't even get to touch one of those things, honey. I'm assuming this Meg Thomas will probably die on this hook. That's just what I'm gonna assume. And Dwight Fairfield goes back in the locker. Riveting. Oh, he actually got out of the locker just in time for the spirit to maybe have seen him gone in the locker. No, surprisingly, she did not disappear. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Good game, everybody. Great game, and by great game, I mean, uh, that spirit is wicked. And you know what? Also, maybe we didn't do our best. Let's just stay until at least this Dwight Fairfield dies. This was like the shortest match in history, and I just want to watch this. That's beautiful. That's just, uh, beautiful. Wonderful. Great. His I like how his glasses are the last thing that gets sucked into hell. Well, that ended extremely quickly. You know what? I think the first game was just so amazing and such good gameplay that the universe had to just even it out. All right, guys. Well, you know what? That is going to be the end of this episode. As usual, if there are any survivors and or killers you would like to see me play, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. If you are, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.